First of all, all right, we're in Chicago. It's about 20 degrees outside. I'm gonna go ahead and guesstimate that there's probably no heat in here. I would be surprised if it is, but it does have some nice new black windows. This is the Buy Back the Block series. We're gonna check out my man Carlos in Chicago, see what he got going on. It's real cold in Chicago, man. You gotta get your coat in Chicago when you come out here, bro. Like, this is, this is different. Los, what's up, man? Good, man. What's the word? Bro, uh, Chicago is cold, bro. How long you been here? <laughs> you got here yesterday, man. So what you got going on here, bro? This, this is the property that, that I picked up, uh, actually, from, from a, a wholesaler. We in the Humble Park neighborhood. OK. This, this neighborhood. It's, it's mm -hmm. We could tell when it's coming in. Yeah. So I picked this up for 285. Okay. I got two different appraisals. I got I got one appraisal that, that gave me a back end ARV a, a, a 790, and then I had another one that that gave me one of of like 690. I went with the one for the six nine. Of course. I really plan to probably exit somewhere around six fifty though. So wait, wait, wait. Let's start right there. So you got it for two eighty five. Now six fifty. That's where I had to square foot it or keeping this existing blueprint. Yeah. I'm changing the layout a little bit. Yeah. But it's changing. It's keeping the, the existing square foot. You got a basement here? Yeah. Okay. How many square feet is the whole house? The, square, the whole the whole house is like twenty. 2300? Oh, wow, this neighborhood is really changing. 650 for 2300 square feet. And it may not even be that much. You put those black windows in? Yeah. I like those. Yeah, we, we put the black windows in. We're going to do this over and it's going to be black. You paint the green or you going to keep it green? Uh, Yeah, no, they, they painted the green. You painted it, okay. It was, it was a light brick. Okay. So, like, kind of like that one right there. Gotcha. Okay. So, the green and black. What, what's the name of that green, though? It's like a Matt Army. Matt Army green. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. I kind of like that green, too. They got heat in here or no heat? No, ain't no heat. Hey, I told you I ain't no heat. The crazy part is, you know, right right now you're going to see the, the furnace just got delivered today. They down there just, just took the furnace, taking the furnace in now. You got your guys. They, they working with no heat. Right now, we, we in the middle of inspection period. Gotcha. So we waiting on special So, plumbing, rough plumbing, electrical. And then, you know, HVAC can go in, so they, they'll be coming, uh, I think, uh, what's this, what's today? Tuesday, Thursday, we got the plumbing. Yeah. I think Monday is, is the electrical. Gotcha. Uh, Chicago, hey, they're messing around, especially like a neighborhood like this on the north side, it come through. Same yeah. thing in Charlotte. Now, now, certain neighborhoods, you can pull that off. Of course. Yeah. Same exact thing in Charlotte, yeah. This one of my partners, the project I, manager. I'm NASA. Yeah. Nice to What we try to do is show minorities owning property, rehabbing property, fixing property, getting things done. For years and years and years, before this, you know, social media, a lot of people assumed that this was a game for people who don't look like us. I've been on YouTube since 2013, and I used to get those emails all the time, like, yo, I ain't, I ain't think a black dude could buy property in North Carolina. So we just basically trying to get the message out there, like, yo, you can do it. It's opportunity out here. Don't sit on the sideline and wait for somebody else to come by your neighborhood and then put you out. I grew up in the 90s. Back then, what it was, the white people wanted the suburbs, gave the blacks the city. The city was considered inconvenience because of all the noise and the traffic and all that. Now fast forward, the city is considered convenient because you have access to downtown. You have all the highways, you have public transportation, etc. So now, you know, the new money wants to move back into the city because it's where it's at. You know, we just want to get that message out there and just show people what's going on and that they can do it too. You don't got to sit back and just play a victim for gentrification. You can get a check too. Well, I see we got the hardwood. Y'all going to keep those, right? Yeah, so we're going to be finna these Floor. It was already a dorm upstairs, so instead of trying to build up, we just used what was existing here. So we just coming in doing all new electrical, all new HVAC, all new plumbing. Um, we keeping some of the floors and some of the trim and stuff. We're going to come in and, and bang it out and make it look real good. You're going to, of course, keep the fireplace, right? Yeah, we're going to keep the fireplace. We're going to put in an electric fireplace and make it look real sharp. Uh, obviously, cover up these old bricks. Oh, I going to use quartz. That brick, I mean, that brick can look good, man. Keep the character of the house, man. We gotta go with court. I got you. Yeah. Got to over here now. Okay, over here you got to. Okay, that's what the mug off. Okay, all right, yeah, I, I got. I, I recently did one with a fireplace and I kept the brick just painted, but you know people just like that part. But at this price point, I'm quite sure yeah they they expect the quartz. We gonna have the quartz matching quartz throughout. Yeah. How many bedrooms and baths? So it's gonna be four baths, five bedrooms, plus one in the basement. Oh, okay. Pretty nice size house. Now this gas and electric. The fireplace? No, oh. the whole everything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gas. gas and electric. Gas and electric. Okay, cool. At that price point, that's probably normal, right? Gas and electric. That's normal here. Normal. The normal here, period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because of the yeah. climate, man. It's definitely very cold here. Very cold. 
I don't see how y'all can do it, but hey, hey if it hits 30 degrees, they shut down schools and everything. My sister lives in Charlotte. Oh, you still live in Charlotte? Yeah, I was just on the phone as I walked in the door. Oh. Live in Charlotte right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. When they hear about snow in Charlotte, here. Not when it hit the ground, but here, everything shut down, state of emergency, all that. I love that. Because I grew up in Jersey. We got some hardcore winners. Not like these winners, but we got some hardcore winners in Jersey, and I, I'm done with the snow. I see you're going to do the can lights. I love that look. It makes it look modern. You going to do that throughout the whole house? Yeah, so it's re recess light throughout the house upstairs is all recessed down here we're gonna have a few statement pieces i put in my personal house them joints they the way they light up so it's serious do a little wrap around kitchen here. so the wrap around kitchen now this is sealed off that's gonna be a full bathroom right there too that's a full bathroom, and this is what we're working with for the kitchen. Not really eating in the kitchen. We're more so going to utilize that, that living room, dining room combo. Um, so in here, we'll have cabinets wrapped all the way around, sink with a nice fixture here. The stove going to be here, refrigerator over here. This is the norm for the neighborhood. If, if y'all search properties for sale in, in, in the neighborhood right now, you'll, you'll see that if, if it's not a new construction, you'll, you'll see. This, as a kitchen. OK. Yeah. We got room for a dishwasher? Yeah, this right. should be right. OK. Uh, and that's the half bath. It's going to be full. It's going to be full, joint. And then this right here, that's going to be what? These are just regular bedrooms right here. The master's upstairs. OK, so these are the regular bedrooms. That's part of the uh, additional plus one room. There's a bedroom, this is an office, and this is a, obviously not originally a part of the house. It's an back porch. Yeah, I could tell. And Brand new deck. We're going to uh, get that side in the nice uplift from little bit warmer temperatures. That's another thing that you, you got to kind of adhere for in these climates is outdoor work kind of stops at a certain point. And once it's below 30 degrees, you can't do a lot of things. Right. Can't mess with concrete, can't mess with paint. Sometimes you can't mess with certain metals because they don't bend right. You know, fortunately, Charlotte, we don't have that problem. We plan for that. Of course. Uh, you got to. It's, it's in the budget. It's in the schedule. And then when we get those days of good weather, they may work 14, 15 hours. You know? Yeah. And these black windows. So I'm assuming you're going to do like a black thing. That's what's really modern right now. Absolutely. Black and white. Yep. So that's our, our color scheme. Right you ever looked at the audio stuff off of Amazon? We bought a lot of different uh, sites. Uh, I've got Amazon business accounts that I had for years. We get great, great pricing. You got a Wayfair business, so I need great pricing. I'm about to give you an over challenge. If y'all ain't, ain't utilizing uh, AliExpress and Alibaba, y'all tweaking. I ain't know they had material up there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You best friends, you owe me now. <laughs> so, bedroom here. Bedroom here. Closet there. It'll be a built in right there. Yeah. A little walk in closet right, right there. there. Right here, you walk into the master. This is the bathroom for that bedroom. Yep. And all of this is your master. And in the back, this is uh, previous enclosed back porch we're going to be using as the master closet. Wow. Okay. Now, now I'm seeing six plus. If this your closet, golly, this is a closet for real. Nice closet. Uh, this is a hell of a closet. Now, what do y'all call those about the shed? What do y'all call those? Oh, okay, I know it was a garage. Man, I was in some country town, bro, and I'm like, yo, oh, you got the garage? Like, no, it's not a garage, it's a smokehouse. I said, huh? Smokehouse? You said, what, what part of the country is it? Lumberton, North Carolina. Man, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I called it a garage. He's like, that ain't no, you the city boy, that ain't no garage, uh huh? Now, y'all both born and raised in Chicago, right? Okay. Now, basically what y'all showed me from the inside, from what I see, we definitely north of 100 in rehab costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I can see that. But the potential on this joint. Now, what kind of flooring y'all gonna do up here? It's either gonna be hardwood or carpet, either one. Okay, I like this. Are we North Chicago, South Side, West Side? It's like a cusp of the West Side meets the North Side. Okay, how long you been working on this? Just about two months. And when do you plan to hit the market? It depends on these inspectors, but we hopefully we should probably be in market by May. Cool. Right in time for that rush. That ain't even gonna matter, matter over here. Oh, it don't matter over here? Okay. The market over here is crazy. It's a, it's a heavily Hispanic neighborhood. They, they typically doing pretty well. You know what I'm saying? It's a demand. It's gonna be a demand. Yeah, we was driving in, we were seeing a lot of new stuff. I was like, man, it's definitely gentrification going on over here. You guys have older houses. What year was this house built? This really looked like it was probably built in like 55 or something like that. Oh, that ain't that bad. Uh, cause yeah, Chicago's an old city. A lot of history here. When you get a house, an older house, man, you gotta, cause we gotta do the same thing in Charlotte. We gotta bring them down to the studs, bring it up to today's cold. Because what happens is you always get a guy think he's going to just can put lipstick on a pig. And then when you try to retell it, the buyer does the inspection it's like, Whoa, 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 bro. Ain't no bang linen on all this with all this that should have got done. 
during construction. We don't do none of that. I don't do none of that, even though none of my hoes. Why would I skip around when I'm keeping the property? So that means two years later, this is gonna mess up. I gotta pay for it, you know what I'm saying? And pay for the tenant in being inconvenienced. Or if I have to put them in a hotel or whatever that looks like. I don't even understand the logic when people say, man, well, you know, it's a rental. You don't gotta do all that. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't even understand. Like, that, that don't even make no sense. Like you said, I just do it right the first time. Because you, you don't do it right the first time, a year, two years later, you will have to do it right. And I want to attract a tenant that want that look at it as a home and not like a temporary place to stay. Four bedroom, home where you from, how much is it rent? Four bedroom, two bath, four bedroom, one bath. Four bedrooms in Charlotte right now, two bath, you're looking at 1800 and up. So if you go to the uppity size, it's going to be, you're going to get close to that 2600 number. What's your basis though? How much does one of those properties cost me to have to get 2600 a month? 2600 a month, right? Right now, you're gonna spend at minimum 425 and up. I got one that, you know, if you're in the suburbs that I could take y'all to. I paid 75 for it. I'm probably putting another 60 in it, and I'm gonna get that 2600 a month for that. You got a good deal. You found a good deal. No, this all day long in Chicago. Wait, and that's I, all day long? All day long. I try to tell y'all. Wow, okay. A ain't no market. Ain't no market like Chicago market. We got investors from the whole world. Yeah, we got, we, we can. Y'all can show me anywhere better. Let's hear it. I'm, let's argue. Show me where y'all, because I got receipts. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I can't, I can't, I, yeah, that's, I, I'm impressed. Now, in this neighborhood, you got a good deal, a great deal, actually. Is that typical, or you just? I mean, that's typical for how, how I buy houses, for how we buy houses. Okay. We, we buy off market. If we buy something on market, and then we got a good deal, we typically buy all lives off market, so no, that, that's not something unusual for us to do. When you go off market, you can get a good deal. When you go on market, basically, with going through a realtor on the MLS, you basically competing on who's gonna make the least amount of money. I go off market for 100% of my deals. I don't use realtors to buy, I use realtors to sell. But yeah, going off market, that's how you get the good deals. Are you a realtor? No, my wife is. Your wife's a realtor? He's a realtor. He's a, okay. Now, this is going to go through your wife's firm? Yeah. Okay. We keep all our stuff in house. He a licensed general contractor. I'm, I'm a licensed general contractor. Before we end this video, man, let me ask you this question. Harold's or Uncle Remus? Uh, Harold. Harold's. In the debate for some Chicago natives. Harold's is better than Uncle Remus. Okay. Chicago pizza or New York pizza? I'm going to say Chicago pizza. I, I got to. Okay. Um, you got a piece of flimsy. It's too thin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago reigns supreme on all food. Ain't no city better. Chicago has the best food in the country. I do like Chicago pizza over New York pizza. If you you're ever in Chicago, you definitely gotta do like a just go to the different food spots and you'll be impressed. Definitely need some heroes today because I ain't get it last night. But just wrapping up this video, you got this rehab going. It's gonna look good. How many bedrooms? Five, you said? Five. Five. Five bedrooms, four baths, hopefully they'll be done in about three more months come may and hit the market at around that 600 plus mark but this is what 600 plus gets you in chicago can you get people your ig so you can find me on instagram and i buy homes cash and that's no underscores no nothing i buy homes cash uh, you can find me at i am jamal payton underscore so that's uh, j-a-m-a-l-p-a-y-t-o-n all right so make sure y'all follow me on instagram and to learn how to start finding deals like this go to nineweekcourse.com it's free you know just put your name and email in and i'll send you the videos on how we find deals like these every day anywhere in the market. Peace.